On today's video, I want to show you how to get your Nvidia Shield Pro running like new again. Now, you only want to do this if your Shield has been in service for more than two years and if you're seeing slowness that even factory resets don't help. This is going to involve disassembling the Shield, removing the old thermal paste, and adding new thermal paste on the CPU, cleaning the fan with compressed air, and putting it back together. Now, do not be afraid as this is very easy to do and I believe anybody can do it if you watch this video. You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver, a T5 bit, compressed air, rubbing alcohol, some Q-tips, and thermal paste. Once you're done, your shield will be running like new and it's gonna buy you enough time while a new Nvidia shield is released. I'm hoping it's soon now that the Nintendo Switch 2 is out. Let's get started. Let's start by removing the two Phillips screws found on the back of the shield. Once they're out, simply slide the cover off like shown here and pop off the cover. There is one power cable on the side that we will need to remove. Just slide it out with a screwdriver or with your fingers. We will be removing six more screws using a T5 bit. Now, before removing the board, note that one cable that is soldered on will remain attached. We will just flip the board, so make sure not to disconnect this one. Now, graph both sides of the board and tilt the side opposite of the ports up and slide it up. Now, flip it over like shown here, so we do not have to remove that one black cable. Now, as you can see, the thermal paste is on both sides and we're going to need to get those both areas cleaned. Over the years, from all the heat, the paste becomes crusty and it stops doing its job. Grab alcohol and start cleaning all the thermal paste off on both sides as shown here. Double check and don't leave any old crusty paste behind. Now it's a good time to grab a compressed air can and cleaning the fan and the rest of the components. Now grab your thermal paste and we're going to apply one generous amount at the center of the CPU as shown on the video. This CPU is small, so that's all that is needed. Now let's carefully flip the board and CPU over again. This time, we're going to angle down the side where the ports are and the part where the cable is will be higher up. Carefully align the ports with the notches of the shield case. Bring the side where the cable is back down and you should see the holes for the screws match. Let's attach all the screws again and we can also reconnect the power cable. We can now close it back up, adding the cover, and we'll hear everything snap back into place. Put on the remaining two screws again and enjoy having a new NVIDIA Shield Pro. Let's go. I hope you found this video useful and let me know down in the comments if it helps you out. Also, do you think we're doomed and no new Shield is going to be coming out this year? I still have some faith that there's a new one on the horizon, especially since Nvidia keeps updating the current shields. Anyhow, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more tech content. Until next time, Ultra Tech out.